Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing two new items. I'm going to be re reviewing the Jackie Ina palette by Anastasia. Cannot wait to jump into this one. And I'm also going to be reviewing the Stay Naked Liquid Foundation by Urban Decay. This is my very first foundation by Urban Decay. And I have worn this already, so I pretty much know how it performs. But I wanted to go ahead and try it on camera so you can see how it performs on my type of skin, which is extremely oily especially in the summertime. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the Anastasia Eye Primer. And I was shocked to see that this was a very light colored primer, which I'm pretty happy about that because now it you don't have to use a concealer to um, you know even out the color on your eyelids. You can just go ahead and use this to lighten your eyes so that you can have more pigmented application of your eyeshadows. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. Okay, so I have the eye primer applied and as you can see it is very light, especially on dark skin. But of course, that makes it a whole lot easier to apply your eyeshadows without having to use a light colored concealer. So I am going to go ahead and dip into this beautiful palette. This thing is gorgeous. Um, and I'm so happy that Anastasia decided to do a collaboration with Jackie Ina because I think we needed somebody of color that could, you know, that understands the needs of dark skin and the colors that complement us best. So the first shade I'm gonna be going in with is the shade Pinker, and I'm gonna be using that as a transition shade. So I am going to use the brush that comes with the palette and apply that right above my crease. And I think I'm just gonna pack it in first to get you know maximum color payoff. And then blend it in afterwards. Next, I'm going to go in with my Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade called Credit. And I'm going to also use this in my crease. But since I'm using a more smaller brush, I'm hoping that, you know, it kind of blends in the crease and, um, you know, gives me a good fade. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And I do want that pinker shade to peek out beyond this shade called Credit. These eyeshadows are extremely pigmented and I'm so happy I got this palette. I have just laid down the Credit eyeshadow right in my crease as you can see. And um, next I'm gonna use my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to go into this shadow right here called Lituation. I guess that's what it's called and I'm going to put that on my lid. And first I'm gonna pat it on and then, you know, blend it out. All right, so I have that shadow, shadow placed and I'm gonna go back into credit and kind of reinforce that um, dark inner crease shade because I kind of lost it whenever I place the lituation shadow. So I'm going to go back in and reinforce that. Okay, so I decided to go into the lituation shadow again with my brush and I'm going to spray my brush just a little bit just because I want this shade to show up a little bit better than what it is and get a more pigmented um, lid color. And in case you just wanted to know what spray I'm using, that's the Urban Decay All Nighter um, setting spray. And that was the one that was cherry scented. And I don't think that sold really well because um, I got it on clearance. At so Going in again with this, I, I know I'm not a, doing a really good job of showing you what I'm using, but this shade right here, I'm going to be going back into that. That's credit once again. And um, placing that in my crease. 
So I have my eyeshadow placed and I am going to go ahead and put some liner on and some lashes. And I'm trying to do this to save time because I don't want this video to go over 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I have placed my lashes and the lashes that I am using is the Kiss Lash Couture in the brand or the brand name Boudoir. And I do not really care for these because the band lash is so thick it makes it hard to place the lashes. I don't think I'll be using these again, but I do like the way they look. But I don't like, um, you know, having to struggle with lashes putting them on because it's already difficult as it is. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, prime my skin and I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business and I just got this and I kind of really like it. I've used it a few times and um, it keeps you matte and with me having really oily skin that's super important to me and I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my hand and um, apply, it all, apply it all over my face. And I do have a few, a few blemishes, guys, because it's summertime, it's hot, and my skin gets so greasy. It's just ridiculous. And, of course, with the oiliness comes the breakouts. All right, I have that primer placed on my skin, and I am going to go ahead and apply the Naked, the Stay Naked Foundation. And I'm going to be using a complexion brush by Royal and Langnickel. I think I got this from Walmart. And I'm just going to buff this foundation in. Um, one thing I noticed about the nozzle on here, like if you're not careful, whenever you're, you're trying to, you know, get it out of the, the pump, it'll squirt like just across the room. And I've ruined some stuff with this um, foundation because it does that. But here I am applying it and I'm going to go ahead and buff that in. Okay, I already have that placed on my skin and I don't know, now that I'm looking at this in the camera, to me it does look a tad orangish. I don't know and I may end up getting the shade lighter version of this which is 70YW because I think this one it might still be a tad too orangey darkish so I'm just gonna play with this a little bit more but I think I will pick up the other shade too but since I do have it on I'm gonna go ahead and keep going and I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade deep and I'm going to highlight under my um my eyes my forehead and bridge of my nose and my chin Okay, so as I'm applying my um, concealer, it's starting to look a little bit better. And it's crazy because like whenever you put a, a foundation where the shade might be slightly off, you know, um, sometimes you can save it with your concealer. And um, I think, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm like torn right now. I don't know if I'm going to get the other shade. I don't know. I hate to waste money. You know what I mean? Because, like, this stuff is not cheap at all, and you hate to do that. You hate to waste money and buying all these different shades, you know. But I'm going to keep playing with this and see how it goes. And the reason why I'm highlighting, like, around my face, too, and this is a mistake I've been doing, and I've been noticing it in the pictures that I've been taking, is that I'll highlight under my eyes, and I'll highlight, highlight my, my forehead and I'll highlight my chin, but I won't highlight around my mouth. So when you take pictures, it looks like, like you're growing a beard. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? You know, what is this on my face? And so I just started like highlighting the entire mouth area so that whenever I take a picture, it won't look like I'm turning into a man or something. So. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer, and I am using my Revu Revolution Bacon Blot um, Blotting Powder, and I have fallen in love with this because my usual my usual go-to is the Sasha Buttercup, but, you know, it, it is a loose powder, so it makes it hard to travel with, but with this, you can, like, just put it in your bag or whatever, 
and go and you won't have to worry about powder spilling everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and place this and set all of my concealer. And I am using my Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 brush. I love this brush because I can get into like the little corners of my face, you know, and um, apply my powder. This is new that I picked up and it's the Pro Fusion Contour Makeup Case. And as you can see, it has like a few highlighters. It has two, I think this is a bronzer, and this looks more like a um, <laughs> a contour shade right here. So I'm going to use this one to kind of contour my face. And I think I got this from, I don't know where I got it. I think I got it from Target. And it has like a little brush that comes with it. But I don't think I'm going to use that. I'm trying to see if I have something else that I can use. No, I may just use it. We'll see how it goes. So I'm using the darkish shade, which is Deep Sculpt. Um, right there. Go ahead and use that to carve out my cheekbones. Doing your contour and you're not used to doing contour, start off real lightly and then build from there. Now I'm going to go in with my bronzer from Anastasia and this is in the shade Mahogany and I'm going to use that to contour the um, perimeter of my face. And this brush that I'm using is the MAC 109 and I love this brush for um, contouring and bronzing. Using my uh, palette by Jackie Ina, I'm going to once again go into this eyeshadow, which is pinker. And since I've already placed my concealer, I'm going to go ahead with that using my, what brush is this? 219 pencil brush from MAC. And I'm going to just kind of um, bring that color down on my lower lash line. Using my ColourPop gel liner, and this is in the shade, ew, what shade is this in? I think it's pretty much rubbed off, but it's like the darkest, pretty much black. It's just straight black. And I'm going to also line my lower lash line. Just using a basic brush. Um, this is a flat brush. Whoa. This is, um, what, sh what is this? I cannot even see the name on this, y'all. It came in my BoxyCharm, but it's this brush, and it has the flat tip on it. And I'm going to go in just using a, a regular black eyeshadow, and I'm going to kind of set that black liner that I placed to keep it from moving around. Using my MAC Sculpt and Define Powder, I always use this dark shade right here. I'm going to use a Elizabeth Mott shader and I'm going to contour my nose. And I haven't used this in a minute. This is the bronzer from Fenty Beauty and it's called Mocha Mommy. And this is the color of it. And to me, this looks more like a blush. And um, I, so I haven't really used it. I'm like reaching off camera. I haven't really used it, but I'm going to try it today as a blush. And um, let's see how this goes. I'm going to be using my lip liner from Sephora. It is the... What do you call it? Rouge Gel Lip Liner and this is in the shade Molasses. And I'm just going to line my lips. Going in with my Aaliyah 
lip gloss, lip glass from MAC. This is in the shade Motor City. And um, I felt like something shiny today. I always do like matte lips. But I'm going to use this. It's more of a peachy shade. Going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Cherry Scented Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I'm going to go ahead and set my face. This is the finished look. I really love this new palette by Jackie Ina. I think the colors look so good on brown skin. I did not experience any fallout. I did not experience any patchiness. It pairs well with the new eye primer that Anastasia came out with. And I did go back in and I used this shade right here, and I cannot pronounce it, but I used that as an inner corner highlight on my eyes because I forgot to add that while I was filming. But other than that, I love it, love it, love it. I definitely recommend this palette, and I think this is probably going to be my most favorite one out of all the ones that I've purchased from Anastasia. Now, the foundation from Urban Decay, the Stay Naked Foundation, I think this is a great foundation for oily skin. If you're looking for something that's going to last the majority of the day, this is a good foundation to try. However, if you are a fan of double wear, Estee Lauder double wear, I, it's, it's not going to perform as well as the double wear. I noticed that this does not look as fresh as my Estee Lauder. It doesn't hold up as well as the Estee Lauder, but it still is a good foundation for oily skin. If you want to give it a try, I recommend it. I did get the shade once again, 71WY. I could, I think I could have gotten away with 70WY, one shade lighter. This one I think was just a tad, a little bit too dark, but is totally workable when you use your concealer and um of course it has a pump you know that's like always a plus because i hate when foundations don't have pumps but great foundation i think it was 39 dollars. so if you have like points at ulta you can get some um dollars off of this foundation so that is my review of those two products i did have my hair covered for this video because I am overdue for a retwist. I am currently five months, a little over five months into my lock journey and I am definitely going to be filming later on tonight after I retwist my hair. My hair right now underneath my um, scarf, <laughs> it looks, oh, I have been swimming and you know when you swim in chlor chlorinated water it wreaks havoc on your hair and my hair looks like a steaming hot mess right now so I was not gonna put myself on blast on YouTube today so I will retwist give you a, a short update later on tonight and I am asking that you please subscribe like this video leave some comments down below let me know what you think about this look and I hope you have a great evening and I will talk to you soon